Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this evening update on what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so in this video, I will be taking you guys through that rainfall increase across the Eastern Caribbean that is pounding some areas with a lot of heavy rainfall, some thunderstorm activity, and I've also seen comments of some flooding across some areas. And so we'll be going into that as well as what is happening uh, for other areas such as the Eastern Pacific where a new storm, the first of their season is developing and before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so let us now go ahead and uh, return to this satellite imagery here now off the coast of Africa and along the intertropical convergence zone uh, that is the area where the trade winds of the north and south meet we typically have lots of moisture there and that helps to favor the development of showers and thunderstorms especially now in the summer so we are seeing some activity along the intertropical convergence zone and uh, there is also a tropical wave along its southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands but as we head toward the vicinity of the Caribbean here we can see that there's lots going on and we'll be talking about that but firstly uh, we want to briefly look at the remnants of Cindy so uh, the chance has decreased for regeneration or development of a system so uh, we're seeing that uh, it is now at a low 20% chance of development through the next seven days and a low 10% chance through 48 hours uh, but there is still that chance that it could try to get itself together but uh, those strong upper level winds coupled with uh, the cooler surface waters will make it a little bit difficult uh, for us to have a, a tropical cyclone uh, coming back from this area here. So uh, it could still bring impacts to Bermuda, uh, by the way, as we head to later this week. And then heading over into the eastern Pacific, there is now Tropical Storm Adrian. So uh, it became a tropical storm just uh, not long ago uh, from when I'm actually recording this update. And so uh, as of right now, it has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and is moving westward at 15 miles per hour so it's moving away from land and won't be a threat heading to the next couple of days and matter of fact by tomorrow evening it could become a hurricane but it isn't expected to become very strong uh, or stronger than a category one but with its formation today uh, today the 27th of June makes this hurricane season the latest start uh, since records began so uh, looking at the satellite imagery of it at a closer view here it is looking quite heavy healthy and uh, it is going to be intensifying uh, for a while before it eventually starts weakening heading to later this week and behind it well not really behind it but rather uh, look into the south east of it there we have that other uh, disturbance that one is given a 80% uh, chance an 80% chance of development through seven days so it is likely that that will become a tropical storm later this week occurring the name Beatrice which is the second name to be used but uh, now let's go ahead and hop back over into the Atlantic Basin and we're focusing on the Caribbean here. And so uh, there has been lots of activity developing this afternoon. And so uh, this persistent rainfall across most of the Lesser Antilles today is likely to persist heading into uh, tomorrow. And I've, uh, I've seen the comments coming from Trinidad, coming from Barbados, St. Lucia. So let me know what conditions are currently like in your uh, country. Let me know in the comments comments looking down into parts of northern south america for venezuela we also see lots of activity and especially for parts of northern uh guyana as well not seen a whole lot for the rest of the country nor for suriname uh, but a bit of activity is moving over coming from french guiana but uh, the main focus uh where most of that activity is located is over in the lesser antilles and so that chance of flooding is going to remain uh there so please be aware of that guys and please take all necessary precautions and please do not take any unnecessary risks. We also see some thunderstorm activity in parts of Puerto Rico as well as Hispaniola going to the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Uh, even a bit of activity for the Virgin Islands but not much. But uh, as we head to Jamaica, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the island and here we can see that there has been some thunderstorm de uh, development this evening affecting some parishes and uh, most parishes have likely experienced some rainfall uh, or at least some overcast weather within the different areas. 
areas guys so my area hasn't really received much rainfall but uh, we have been here in the thunder and it's been pretty overcast with those cooler winds so that is uh pretty great for us i mean it's helping to combat some of the heat uh that we have been experiencing all day it's something that i absolutely despise so uh, let's head over into other areas now other parts of the western caribbean and here we can see that there isn't as much activity in parts of central america compared to yesterday but there is still a lot there so across sections of belize the yucatan guatemala uh, honduras nicaragua we can see lots of showers and thunderstorms that have been developing now that tropical wave is moving further into the eastern pacific and we'll see that uh, as we head further into this week conditions will gradually improve for the area so most of this rainfall will soon be out for the cayman islands there isn't too much we see some activity developing across parts of cuba and even sections of the bahamas as well so that is what is happening this afternoon and as we look on the surface chart here this is the latest update uh there we can see that tropical wave in association with all the activity affecting the lesser antilles now the axis of it is extended into northern guyana as we can see here and uh, there is that other one i mentioned earlier in this video southwest of the cabo verde islands not a whole lot expected from it nothing is marked for potential development and as i speak about that there is lots of dry air out there uh being induced by that saharan air layer so there is that new plume of dust uh that is making its way across the tropical atlantic and so uh this isn't something new for the month of july so uh it is a possibility that we won't be seeing any new tropical cyclones for a while across the Atlantic Basin. But as we head into August and going into September, there is going to be uh, more and more activity. However, do not let that allow you to let down your guard because uh, there is always going to be the possibility of these tropical waves coming in induced loss of rainfall, which can lead to flooding. So it takes less than a tropical cyclone, way less uh, to see some major damage done. And so uh, here is a literal example right now, this major rainfall increase across parts of the Lesser Antilles. And so again, guys, please stay safe. And of course, I'll continue to keep you posted uh, ahead of what is happening and stay tuned for my updated video tomorrow so you know what is going on and what to expect through the day and that is it for right now so i hope that you found this to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and remember to always be weather wise